Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Oh yeah, so uh, last episode we managed to get ourselves uh, unlimited power, set up with a small little tractor, um, automated tractor go picker up system, and we also managed to put down our space elevator, which is looking absolutely beautiful. So today, um, I think what we're going to concentrate on is uh, probably reconnecting all the power to where it needs to go, getting rid of our biomass generator there, um, maybe fixing up and planning out a little bit of our smelting system, whether we're going to put it here or at the main base. And hopefully, maybe we, if we have enough time, we can unlock uh, tiers 5 and 6 for an episode, next episode. So yeah, alright, let's go have a look what we need to do here and see what's available to do. I noticed this the last time too that we had uh, one in here. Oh, fabric. Okay. So a little bit of biomass and fabric and... Okay. Um, that's weird. So I need to send up this. Okay, well that's interesting. <clears throat> Tier 3 we get logistics. So we get faster belts, uh, conf uh, conveyor bolt stacks. These are pretty cool because you can stack these up and you can make uh, conveyor bolts go uh, side by side. Uh, conveyor belt lifts. Oh uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is wicked. Um, then we got... Let's see, what else tier 3? We got uh, medical inhaler. Tier 4, we start our steel production, which is pretty wicked. Uh, number 5, we get some inventory slots. Uh, another arm slot, which is pretty cool. And a Xeno Basher, that's pretty wicked. That's like your kind of your sword there I was talking about. Then we get MK3 logistics, so we'll get bigger storage, better belts, and better conveyor lifts, faster conveyor lifts. That's pretty awesome. So I think this should be our goal for today, is to try to unlock those things. So that means a lot of crafting for me. I might set up uh, some basic automation with these things here, just to help me craft certain things. And um, that way I can get ahead a little bit faster and hopefully we can get all these uh, these tiers upgraded and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go and hack away at all this and figure something out and I'll be back all right so through the magic of editing we are back and lots of time has actually passed because oh boy we got everything we need in order to finish every single tier so it's just a question of loading it up Watching the ship go, bringing it on back, and doing that over and over until we have all of them done. So, let's get it started. Uh, so, Tier 1, I even took this one into effect, uh, the fabric. So, we'll select the milestone. Uh, here we go. Plates, rods, and launch. Yep. <laughs> Oh, that one doesn't have to go anywhere. Even better. So, now, uh, logistics. That's perfect. Yeah, the amount of wire is absolutely insane, by the way, but that's fine. Uh, I managed to do it all and get it all done, so I guess that's all that really matters. Bam! This one's going to take off for sure. Milestone reached. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory <clears throat> logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Excellent. That looks so awesome. By the way, I moved the hub closer to the, the station over here. Oh, that's so beautiful. I also hooked up uh, automation for the copper up there. I put um, that doing all the way from wires all the way up to cables. Here we're doing just the normal plates, rods, and screws, and from that I'll make everything else myself. Uh, we'll probably be a little bit faster, but uh, in this tech upgrade, what did we learn? I think it was logistics, right? So we got the stackable poles, the faster belts, uh, nuke, uh, faster lifts, which is pretty awesome. These I'm still looking forward to using. Oh yeah, that's going to be awesome. going to be totally awesome. All right, so I got like seven minutes to wait. We're going to take a cut, and when it comes back, 
We'll get another one done. Excellente. So our craft is back. And let's go do the next one. Medical inhaler. Alright, so 25 of them, 25 rotors, and a thousand of that. And, does that go anywhere? And it does. Three minutes. Uh, that's not bad, three minutes. I guess that's not too bad. Watch this fly up like I always do, because it's so beautiful. Very well done, this game. Very well done. Alright, once again, we'll be back. Wow, it's a pretty hot landing anyways. <laughs> Suicide burn. Love it. Love it. Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Now, we can do the next one. Alright, so now steel production. This one's pretty good because uh, in the meantime, I'm going to have to make 20 more motors. Uh, 70 more motors because I need 20 more motors to do logistics 3. I only have 30 and I picked those up off the ground. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. And uh, remember when we found that crashed uh, pod there? Uh, so yeah, that's not so bad. So let's do this one. Um, do, do, do. Uh, that and that. Oh, it needs 100 more. Perfect. Milestone reach. Steel production unlocked. Foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. Okay, so stators are steel pipes and wire. So that's pretty cool. And motors are rotors and stators. So that's pretty, I guess, easy enough as, you know, I'm producing enough stuff here as it is right now that's going to help me get through some of that stuff. So that shouldn't be too bad. I'll be able to craft that off, uh, off camera and I'll go do that now and I'll come back and hopefully I'll have all the motors that we're going to need. Uh, the one thing that's going to take a little bit longer though is... Uh, the tier 5 requires 500 modular frames. Now that is going to take a little while to do though. But uh, I'll get that done too. So, be right back. Alright, the ship just got back. So we'll go and complete the next one. Improve combat. That will be probably very good for us. Since uh, we always seem to get in, into trouble. There we go. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. So now we got an extra, uh, an extra, what is it there, slot for our hand. Then we got uh, more inventory space, which is really good. And in here now, we can make uh, the Xeno Basher. And you just need two of those, huh? Hmm. Uh, Xeno Zapper. I'm missing just rods and that. So I'll do that. Uh, get one of those done for next time. Uh, off cam. Um, so in order to make these... Uh, these statters here. It's uh, steel... Pipes. Um, it's not normal pipes, it's steel pipes. So, uh, in order to make steel pipes, you would need steel ingots. And in order to make steel ingots, it's uh, normal raw iron, uh, iron and coal. And you gotta go put those through, I believe, a crafter, like one of the, the assemblers. Let's see. production. Oh, there we go. Oh, a foundry. That's what it is. We gotta go put these into a foundry. Yeah. So that's what we gotta set up. We're gonna do a small little setup of that here. Just so that way we can, um, we can get some steel going on. Um, I'm trying to breeze through this a little bit quickly so I can unlock a lot of the stuff as fast as I can. 
And there's kind of a reason for it. It's because of the way I, th I see things a little bit differently. I don't want one of every item in the game. Like, I don't need a million iron plates or iron rods or whatever, you know? Like, so I'm going to do it so that way specific things get built in specific buildings. Like, uh, rotors, that's going to be a whole factory. Modular frames is going to be a whole factory. Um... The steel pipes, encased industrial beams, strators, uh, strat stators, motors, heavy modular frames, all these things like the more later games are going to start being the factories. Um, these early game ones, I don't need them because they're all used to make these. So like my reinforced plates, I don't want a factory making reinforced plates because I'm going to need reinforced plates to make modular frames. So, you know, like, it's it's about separating what's kind of more important to me. And more important to me is not the early game stuff because they're already already they're already they're included into the, the factory designs that uh, I'm going to be making. So if I need any of these things, I can make, like, an overflow system. So I still got six minutes and some left uh, before the shuttle comes back. So... I'll keep trying to set up this uh, coal thing, and um, yeah, we'll go from here. Alright, so a lot of time has passed, and uh, I never ended up doing uh, any construction or anything. I figured it'd be faster if I went ahead and I made everything myself. So uh, let's go to Logistics 3. We'll go and we'll throw everything that we need in here. So 25 of them, 50 of them. 2,500 of that, uh, and 300 of these. My lord. That took a lot of stuff. Alright. Milestone reached. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. That's awesome. Okay, so, you know, we get all that stuff that much faster. Now! Ugh. This is what took so long. These 500 modular frames. Oh no, it was 150? Oh. Oh, that's so brutal. Oh. I should have looked earlier. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's devastating. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of crafting today. This slide, that was insane. Alright, so at the beginning of next episode, we'll get the beginning of um, Tier 5 and 6, I believe, unlocked. And at the same time, that'll give me time to start planning um, what we're going to have to start building. Because now we're going to have to start working on our factory. We're going to have enough stuff unlocked that uh, we can actually start making plans now. And making things worthwhile building. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Peace, take care, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful scenery, and we'll see you next time.